Hi! Well, hello and welcome to my closet. Today we're gonna be doing some closet clean out. Um, I know I did a video about this not too long ago. If I can find it, I'll link it down below for you guys. But my closet is getting a little out of control. It's not bad with the things that I have incoming into it, which is pretty rare that I buy anything. Um, I actually have a couple of things right here that I haven't worn yet that I am planning on wearing at Go Wild. It's a planner conference that's gonna be this upcoming May. But um, like one of these things is from Old Navy, the other is from Target, but I know that I'm going to be wearing them there. However, I just realized that I just don't use the majority of my closet. Like I have pretty packed top tier and then my bottom tier. I actually, um, let me flip, flip you around and then I'll like kind of go over some things. So this top tier here, when you first walk into my closet, this is all of my tops. Um, down here, those are like a couple of my blazers. I also have some scarves. And then this was actually a chunk of stuff that I decided if I don't wear it by the next time I do a clean out, it's all going and that is all leaving. The majority of it is actually LuLaRoe. These are some new pieces that I just haven't worn yet. And um, I think, yeah, they're all from Old Navy. I got them, I think all on the same shopping trip, but it was like, over the holidays in 2017 and it is April of 2018. I just haven't worn them yet. So anyway, um, over here is some things. I think I'm gonna whittle these down. These are my barefoot dreams items. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is sad because it still has the tag on it. I just don't gravitate towards it. I really like the darker colors and I'm just not, I don't know, I thought that this would be a little bit darker in person. It's kind of more like a true sand color. And I just don't think it looks the best with my skin tone. This is just a robe, like that's not interesting. But anyway, I wanna whittle this down, get rid of all of those. Over to the right is kind of like all my casual things. To be honest, I don't even know what pants are in here because I kind of wear the same like couple pairs of pants all the time. So I'm gonna definitely look at those. Down here, I've got some more basics. I've got some more LuLaRoe stuff that may be leaving, I'm not sure. And then I have kind of all my pajamas. My travel stuff is over here. That's all gonna stay, obviously. But yeah, I just feel like there's too much stuff and the majority of it I don't grab for and I think I need to get rid of some of the stuff that I just don't grab for anymore. So that is the closet that I'm working with. Let me set you guys up on a tripod because I know everyone seems to like when you fast forward the footage and all that good stuff. Um, oh, before we get started, I have this um, big Ikea bag that I'm gonna be putting all of my discards in because I am gonna be taking all of my stuff to, uh, it's a comp, or not a company, it's a store called Clothes Mentor. There's not one really in my area, but the closest one I believe is in Maple Grove. So I'm gonna go there in the next couple of days and take my items in. They're kind of like a Play-Doh's closet, but for like more mature clothing. Um, they just buy your gently used clothing that's name brand. I mean, you can even sell like Target brand stuff there. So um, they'll go through everything and then whatever they want, they just make you an offer as to like what the price should be. And um, I will link a Clothes Mentor down below so you can see if there's one in your area. I'm not sure. I know it's a chain, but I'm not sure if it's like a national chain or not. But you can bring in like handbags, jewelry, uh, like sunglasses, clothing obviously. You can bring in like workout clothing. I'm not sure if they take like pajama like bottoms. I'm really not sure. You know, I don't shop there that often, but I know that the place exists. So anyway, um, that is going to be it for the like before closet tour. And um, let me throw you guys on a tripod and then I will show you what I'm doing. So let's get this party started. <laughs>
trying to get you guys a little closer. So I kind of wanted to like go over some things. I have this, here I'll show you. Um, down here. <laughs> this bag is all filled up already. So I have this other Ikea bag that I found in my closet that I am using for all the things that I'm getting rid of. However, I wanted to kind of like talk through some things. Um, as I was putting a couple of things in my bag down here, I was like, I should really like talk about this, right? I had like four different like black and white check shirts, like long sleeve shirts that roll up. So I got rid of two of them. Like my two least favorites were gonna go away. So I've kind of gone through most of it. I'm right here. So this thing that I've worn one time, it's red, I know, right? I love it, it's from Target. It's the Ultra Zara for Target. It was like one of their collaborations. I love the way this fits, but here's the deal. This is kind of like real fancy for the FDE, right? And I've only worn it for Christmas one year and that was it and I've never worn it again. So it's time to go away. It's not a color that I gravitate towards in the first place. I love the fit on it, but if this was a different color, I probably would keep it if it was a little less aggressive in my opinion. <laughs> if it were like a black or a gray or even like a dark green, I would probably keep it. All right, so on to the next section. So everything over here, I've dealt with everything over here. I have not, so I hope the audio is coming through okay. I'm not really sure because I'm kind of far away from the tripod, but um, yeah, let's just do it, you know? So like this, I like it okay. It's from H&M. It's just not, I never wear it. Like I'm not a big fan. I love brown handbags, but brown on my body, I'm just not a big fan of. And I did wear this a few times in the last couple of seasons, but it's just time for it to go away, you know? Um, this I still like, these things I still like. Okay, so here's like a perfect example of why I shouldn't be allowed to shop LuLaRoe. I have gotten rid of basically almost all of my LuLaRoe items today. Um, this also is one of those like cute little baseball tee looking things. I don't even know the style name. Hold on, I still have the tags on it because I've never worn it. It's a Randy. Never worn it. It's cute, but I haven't worn it in, uh, what, two years? I'm not gonna wear it. So it needs to just go away. Someone else can hopefully enjoy it more than I have because it's just been collecting dust in my closet. And yeah. <laughs> also, I've had these two sweaters from J. Crew. I have this one and then also a lighter colored one. I've never worn them. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't like the fit on the body, like in through like the stomach area is just a little too tight for my liking. And I bought them, I believe at a, this is the other one. I bought them, I believe at a J. Crew outlet and it was, I think out of state. So I've been hanging on to them for years and I don't know why I just keep them in my closet. They're just a little, too tight for me. I don't, I don't know. I don't like them. I also have this thing. Um, I liked it because it was neutral, but again, like, ugh, I don't like it with my skin tone at all. Again, the browns and the golds, I'm just not a huge fan of for a top. It's just like, not my thing, but that's okay. Also these, like I have this one and then I also have a gray and white stripe. I'm gonna get rid of both of them to be honest. Um, these have seen both better days. I like them okay, but to be honest, I think I need to just replace them with something else because the shape is just real bad because I've had them for too long. And yeah, like here's the other one. They're, they're from different brands, but I just, it's not my thing. So, 
my thing is like if you're not gonna wear it just like get rid of it because whatever I don't end up selling at Clothes Mentor I'm gonna donate anyways so I just it's time for me to start fresh you know all right so moving through um, this thing I I don't know like I feel like I might wear this again, so I'm gonna keep that. However, this again, another LuLaRoe thing. It's an Irma. I just don't like the way they like lose their shape around the collar. I don't know if you guys have had that problem, but it seems like some of my Irmas are just fine, but other ones, they just lose their shape so fast. And um, I don't, I don't really know why, but all the Irmas I have are all like different fabrics too. So I know LuLaRoe, like, whoops, this is not an Irma. But again, I haven't worn this, but I feel like this summer I might wear this. So I'm gonna keep it anyways. Um, I don't know what this is. This is a perfect tee. So it kind of like bells out at the bottom. I think I might wear this. Actually, I think I'm gonna bring this to my, um, Texas trip so I'm gonna put that on my door there and then this this is an Irma but see how like this neck is just fine I like this so much better but this is a different fabric than the last one I showed so I'm gonna keep this one um oh I really love this Irma but again look at that neck like it's so bad I gotta get rid of it I just can't handle it you know Ugh. it's so frustrating because it's like you never know when you buy these, like, how they're gonna wash up. It's just sad. But I did get many miles out of it, so I'm alright with that. And then, same with this Irma as well. The neck is kind of jacked on it. It's just a dark navy. Which, I like the color, I, and I'm just not a big fan of the fabric either. Um, I don't know. This one just, just kind of, like, it kind of pilled up really bad. And so these things, like the next two things I've had for like ever in a day, I don't foresee myself gravitating towards these anymore. They're just these like sweater short sleeve shirt. Every time I wear them, I love the way they look, don't get me wrong, but I just hate the way they make me feel. I feel too hot and then I feel too cold at the same time. So like my arms are super cold, but then like my body is like roasting. So just not the best for me and then this is another one this is one I got from um, forever 21 quite a while ago it's actually really cute um but it's just you know it still fits and everything but it's just not my thing and I keep this every year and I keep thinking like I am going to get rid of this but then I like find some excuse to wear it it has this like it's a linen shirt and it's got this gold foil pineapple on it I know this is like so not the trend anymore but I think I'm still gonna keep it I don't know I really like it you guys like I really like it but it's so like four years ago but I kind of don't care so I'm gonna keep it because it makes me happy here's another LuLaRoe shirt that I have this is another Irma the neck isn't messed up but I don't like the fabric it's super thick and it's just makes me irritated so I'm gonna get rid of that and I know I'm getting rid of a ton of stuff you guys but to be honest I haven't worn most of this stuff in Probably since I've been, well, I've worn some of it since I've been back in Minnesota, but it's been pretty far and few between for that. Um, this shirt from Express, I still really like it, so I'm going to keep this. Um, this is from H&M. I still love this with some leggings. Let's see. This is just a basic shirt from Express. Just like a little button-down ensemble. And then this I actually got at a Target on clearance not too long ago. It's really probably hard to see, but I think this is might be another option. This was like $11. It was originally like $24. This is one of those Knox Rose. Um, I think this is going to be an option for my um, trip, so I'm going to put that over there. Um, this can just go away. I have never worn it. Um, this is one of those... Old Navy tanks nothing is wrong with it it's just I haven't worn it and it's been several years I actually bought both of these I wore this one a couple of times um, I 
whoops, bought these when I lived in North Dakota. So it's just, it's time to go. Let's see here. This I absolutely love. This is from 4th, 14th and Union. Um, it's a really, really cute top and um, I got it from Nordstrom Rack. Again, this might be a contender for the trip situation. This I've never worn and I never will wear. It's time for it to go away. This is from Lauren Conrad, um, Kohl's, like her Kohl's line. I don't really know why I bought it, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with me that day. Um, this I still really love. It's a Nordstrom Rack, like dark army green color. Love this. This I still enjoy. Um, I think this is from like JCPenney or something. And then all the rest of my stuff over here is all like tanks for like under my clothes. So like today I'm wearing, it's hard to see, I'm wearing a like a black tank underneath my top here. And then the only other thing I want to um, get rid of today is going to be this Barefoot Dreams. Actually, hold on. I'm going to ask my mom if she might want this. So I'm not going to get rid of this today. My mom's going to be back in less than a month. So if my mom wants it, she can have it, and then I can always take it back. So that's all the stuff I'm going to get rid of. That's a lot, y'all. That is a lot. So now I am back in the closet. Things look a little bit different, so let me flip you around and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so this is all of my casual clothing. I whittled it down just a little bit. Not a ton, but I did quite a bit. Um, as for the pants, I only kept a few of them. I think I took like two or three pairs out. Um, as for the pants down here, I really, really got rid of a lot. Um, to be honest, there was just so much stuff I wasn't using anymore, so I think this is just a good amount. Pajamas I didn't touch because I'm pretty sure they don't take pajamas, but it doesn't matter. I'm pretty happy with the amount I have. This is where it looks very different now. Um, I'm gonna move the hangers around a little bit, but I really like what I have. I've worn what I have recently or I've purchased stuff recently, like in the last like four months. And I just really like what I have now. It's not jumbled up with a bunch of stuff that I don't really like anymore. So I, I really like this. Like I could basically just blindly touch something and say, yep, I'm going to wear this today and I will enjoy wearing this specific shirt today. Um, versus like, ah, eh, no, I don't like that anymore kind of a thing. Like we all have that, you know. So anyway, and then these are all my tanks that I wear under clothes. Um, I get them all from Target, but some of them still have like a tag on them or whatever but I don't know I stock up when they're on sale um as for down here I didn't whittle down any of my blazers just because I wanted to keep them and then here's all my hangers now <laughs> yikes but I think that is going to be it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was like a little bit longer than normal. I kind of wanted to go through a little bit of my thought process of like why I'm getting rid of certain things and like what's not suiting me anymore. But I will be taking all this stuff to Close Mentor in the next few days here. But I will probably edit this video before I go to Close Mentor and like hopefully get some money and stuff like that for it. But anything I don't sell there, I'm going to donate. So yeah. But uh, let me show you what I have going on here. So that's my big Ikea bag full of stuff. And then I have another Ikea bag full of things too. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to get rid of you guys. Like I didn't think I had that much stuff, but like I really do have that much stuff that I don't wear. Wow. So I wanted to get a little jump start on the spring cleaning. So let me know below if you guys have started cleaning out your closets or any spring cleaning that you guys have been doing lately. I'd love to hear what ideas you guys have been working on in your own homes down below. But anyway, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe, hit the bell notifications so you know when my new videos post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.